Mediator version 12 was just released and it comes with the option of configuring how your notifications are published. In the previous versions, they would always be published one by one, but let's see what we can do now. We're going to start from the create order command handler and we want to publish a notification when an order is created. So let's create our notification class. We're going to call it order created. And I like to personally append event to these objects because they represent something that happened in the past. I'm going to turn this into a record instead of a class. And we're going to give it the order ID property. We can use the strongly typed ID here because we're going to be publishing this in memory and we need to implement the iNotification interface coming from Mediator. To publish this event, we're going to go to our create order command handler and we're going to inject the iPublisher interface coming from Mediator. It only exposes one method, which is the publish method for sending a notification. So right here, after we have persisted our changes to the database is when the order creation becomes a fact. So it's only at this point that it makes sense to do publisher publish and send out our notification. So let's create the order created event and we're going to give it the order ID and we can also pass it the optional cancellation token. So what this is going to do is it's going to send out the order created event and then Mediator is going to trigger any of the corresponding event handlers. So how do we add event handlers? It's very simple. We're going to add two of them as an example. The first one is going to be send order confirmation event handler. This handler is going to send the order confirmation email when the order created event is published. So we're going to implement the I notification handler interface and we specify what is the notification that we are handling. So this is the order created event. And you can see that the handle method only exposes the order created event and then you implement your logic inside. I'm just going to inject the iLogger interface inside of our event handler, and we're going to add some application logs. So I'm going to say private read only iLogger, and I'm going to specify send order confirmation event handler, and we're going to inject this from the constructor. And now I want to add a few logs here inside of our handle method. So let's say log information. We're going to say sending order confirmation and we can also specify the order id so let's say like this and i'm going to specify the notification order id and i'm going to copy this log and make an adjustment here so order confirmation sent to make it looks like some work is being done i'm going to make this method asynchronous we can get rid of the returning of our completed task and I'm just going to await a task delay. And let's say we want to wait for 2000 milliseconds. You can also pass it the cancellation token if you want to. Let's also add one more event handler. Let's say that this one is a create payment request event handler. So we want to attempt to charge the user when an order is created. So let's say create payment request event handler. And we're going to do something similar as we did before. So it's going to be an I notification handler. We're going to specify the order created event and we're going to copy the implementation from here. So I want the logger and I'm going to change the generic argument. Let's inject it from the constructor and inside of the implementation, I'm also going to do something similar. So make this asynchronous and we're going to say starting payment request for this order. And we're going to say payment request started after our task delay has completed. So payment request started. So now we have two event handlers. And when we publish the order created event, those event handlers are going to get triggered one by one. In Mediator version 12, we have a new way to apply our configuration by specifying an action which takes in a Mediator service configuration instance. And on this service configuration instance, you can call the many methods that are exposed. One of the things that you can configure is the notification publisher. Now this is a strategy pattern implementation which expects an instance of the iNotification publisher interface and the default implementation is the for each await publisher.
if we take a look at the source code of the for each await publisher you're going to see that it just iterates over all of the handlers for the given notification and then it invokes them one by one the other implementation that is available is the task when all publisher now if we take a look at the source code of this class you're going to see it's slightly different what happens is you iterate over the executors but you just select the task returned by the handler callback and you pass them all into an array and after that you call task when all which is going to await all of the tasks at the same time this typically includes some degree of parallelization and we're going to see that in just a moment so let's use the for each await publisher as the default one and try to publish our notification and see what happens I'm going to hit the orders post endpoint which is going to call our command handler so let's send this request and you can see we hit our command handler so let's fetch the customer from the ID we create the order and add it to our orders DB context and we persist the changes and the order is inserted into the database now I'm going to publish the order created event remember that we're using the default for each await publisher so if I press continue we first hit the create payment request handler because this is the first one that was registered and we can walk through it line by line so when we hit the delay here and I'm actually going to press continue we won't go into the other event handler until this handler completes so we're going to wait for two seconds and we hit our information log and when I press continue it's only then that we go into the send order confirmation event handler and we execute it normally we wait for two seconds here and we complete our event publishing so if I press continue we're going to get the response back from our API now I'm just going to replace the for each await publisher with the task when all publisher and let's see what is the behavior with this strategy I'm going to send the same request to our API and I'm going to continue to this line here so we create the order the same as before only this time let's see what happens when we publish our event so I'm going to press continue and we land inside of the create payment request handler now if I press continue you'll notice that we landed inside of the send order confirmation event handler and you can see this is the case because we have the information log here that we are starting the payment request but not that we have completed it this is because we hit the task delay and the execution continued to the send confirmation event handler now if I press continue we're going to land back in our create payment request handler where we had another breakpoint so you can see we have a starting payment request here we have sending order confirmation log here and now the create payment request is going to continue and complete and we are back in the send order confirmation event handler so you can see the log here payment request started and then we have order confirmation sent so you can see that our handlers are now executing in parallel because we are using the task when all publisher strategy one thing you can do is you can provide your own implementation of the iNotification publisher interface for example you could implement a fire and forget publishing strategy and use that in your own applications if you enjoyed this video then I'm sure you're going to love the one that you can see on the screen right now and until next time stay awesome